Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. I didn't think for you to be proud of her. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. This is a road. Okay? We're going to follow this road all the way down. You're going to take a sharp left. Okay? Up here, past this tree here. Okay? Once you get up here, you're going to take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at. Right here in this place. Hi ladies, it's Yanni and I'm back for part two. Now we left off with Rayshonda exposing her wife LaShondra on TikTok live in the wee hours of the morning. And then we also left off with LaShondra creating new content from her new apartment. The interesting part about all of this is that now LaShondra is being exposed by some of her old tenants. Like I said previously, in part one, LaShondra is a property manager for a low income based property. So let's get into what's being exposed now after everything was exposed by Rayshonda. What were you saying they got the people in shambles? Okay, so basically I had said that I was a former tenant in Guardian Court. My address was 6108 apartment eight and then 6105 apartment five. I had proof in my iPhone 6 of multiple cheating occasions with multiple different people about infidelity. I seen Miss Rashonda for the very first time pull up in a truck, seen her and Miss Lashandra hug. After that, I've been trying to find her social media. Never knew she was famous on TikTok. Finally got myself a TikTok founder. I inboxed her. I'm like, hey, here's my number. I'm pretty sure she didn't get it because we were not automatically friends. But I definitely did reach out multiple times. I said, hey, here's my number. Hey, Miss Lashandra's cheating on you. Can you please like inbox me back just to see if it's real? You know what I'm saying? So we can speak on it, whatever this, that, and the third. But without even the cheating, Miss Lashandra has done some very questionable things to the apartment complex. That's why I'm on Miss Lashandra's side to the day I die. I don't care because I done dealt with Miss Lashandra firsthand. That lady, she, 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 you know, the manipulative type, she, she's something different. And there's been on, on, on a thousand occasions. Okay. So, um, let me just drop a name real quick, uh, or an address rather, cause I don't really know the lady's name. 6105 apartment eight in that building. That's who she was messing with. Well, hold had, on. Uh, Are you saying apartment A like Apple or the number eight? Eight. eight okay. Like, great. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's what she was messing with. My house was in the same building. Terrence lives across the street. He's done seen it. We had Desiree and Kiana. Everybody that lives out there, everybody knows. It's like a high school all over again. I'm pretty sure Miss Rashonda can even testify that it's like a high school. It's a whole bunch of nothing but young kids and, 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 and some crackheads that walk around all day. And, um, that's why I said I believe her. And I'm pretty sure y'all need to come up off her case about this credit report because don't nobody sit there, sit on their phone all damn day looking at a credit report. Miss LaShondra done did this lady wrong. And I know she's right because she's been dead wrong for years. I'm still trying to get my paperwork together to sue this lady. I've done had video proof. I done had picture proof when her and her maintenance man walked into my house and I was butt ass naked. Excuse my language on this live. I'm sorry. I was butt naked. Okay pregnant and they stood in my doorway and stood there with Chandra too stood there I'm like can you leave well I'm scrambling around trying to get a towel she did not leave so I called now, the what police here for what did they come for because she had to go do a she had to go look at air filters or something never left the notice what did they come for because, because she had to look at air filters she had to go look at notice on nobody's door or nothing they, they would just know. open people's doors all the time and that's where me and her used to get into it because guardian court was not my first apartment or my first rodeo so I already knew. Miss Rashonda be back. So you continue your story. Yeah. She'll be back. Um, 
Gordon Court was not my first rodeo as far as apartments. So she get a lot of young, excuse my language, dumb, naive females that have babies, ain't got nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? So they got that only option. So she uses that against people. She uses that against people and it's been that way. Like she done, I've done seen this lady hand first hand. Like she do all these old tenant chronicles, guardian court, whatever, whatever. No, she be out there throwing hands with these ladies just like a, a, a B word on the corner. You know what I'm saying? What? Okay, so the first, you know, for real, it is really like that. And then get up here preaching and lying to everybody every day. That's why me and her used to get into it. We don't went rounds and she couldn't kick me out legally because I used to call the police and make police reports. And, you know, you get the little ticket with the little number on it in case you want to take it to court. I'm still Wait, trying to get now, my, let me get this straight. You and LaShondra then came to blows. Yes. Yeah, listen, my name is LaShondra. Her name is also LaShondra. I used to live there. I can uh I'm gonna post my ID and my old address up here with you know with all the information so everybody knows it's not a lie show my old lease. We don't went toe for toe. We don't call cops on each other because she always doing something or she always in somebody's business or she always messes with somebody's kids. Like how she do that little boy Butterbean. Oh, hey, Butterbean, I'll get you this, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. But she'll do that around the complex, pick favorites in these kids and then watch these kids fight because most of these kids don't got a pot to piss in or damn their shoes to walk outside in. I ordered you a pickup stick. It'll be here on Monday, okay? Come out the street. Go over there. Where is my It'll be here Monday. I ordered it yesterday. But she's so okay. gracious and giving, you know what I'm saying? And plays plays different roles against people. So it's a whole bunch of different things. That's why I said as soon as her uh wife done dropped up on here, I said, Yep, it's my time to talk. It's my time to run it. Because I'm I don't care about going to war with LaShondra. LaShawn, we don't we don't want hands up. We can't do nothing but go social media up. Uh what is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And then you be up here begging. You a funny motherfucker. You say I'm sorry. I'm not Patty. I'm a listen. I'm real. Boy, you funny. This nigga say, look, we done already went heads up. Ain't nothing left for us to do but go social media. Ray, right, when you come back in, let me know, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring you up, or one of my moms can bring you back up. Yeah, she sit there. She use these people. If you. Man, listen, I'm telling you, I can bring up stories. You can, I can go occasion for occasion. I done seen this lady in the back of somebody's car in the middle of the night, swear up and down. What you doing? Tooting powder or sucking dick? One of the two. You got a son for oh. some reason. I'm sorry. I'm real explicit. I'm very explicit because you're doing something in that car. We ain't stupid. We grown. You know what grown folks do. You know what I'm saying? We ain't Ooh. stupid. What are you doing? Then you got cameras in this parking lot. I'm pretty sure you ain't never showed Rashonda a video of that parking lot. I can guarantee it because she's definitely going to see something. Now, in these last few months, maybe this last year, she done tried to straighten up social media wise and outlook wise because she knows she got that following with her wife. And that's where she's basically trying to sweep everything under the rug because she think motherfuckers ain't going to say nothing. Because mind you, I was on probation for five years. OK, uh -huh. for robbery. I ain't no bullshit ass bitch. You see what I'm saying? I, I was on house arrest. She would come into my house, threaten me, do all types of stuff. Oh, yeah, we're going to send you back to jail. You're going to get your kids taken away. I'm going to call CPS. Da, 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 da. You say something to me if you want to. Woo, 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 woo. This, that, and the third. So do it. Every time I got a police report, every time she did, and guess what? I was still up in that apartment, laid back, kicking up in my nice, good furniture, okay? That I didn't have to get to rent a center. Do you understand? Owned it. Paid in cash. Paid in full. Two cars. So it's it's just a lot y'all need to really know and then that light skin maintenance man is a pervert this light skin maintenance man he honey oh my god i wish i could just go and call all these people up on this live because there's been so many sexual assault problems with him there's been set i put a report for sexual assault let me make sure i got this right Lashandra mm -hmm. it runs garden view apartments guardian court Okay, my bad. Guardian Court. <laughs> she, um, she's, I guess, looking over the tennis. She's playing favoritism with the kids, so the kids get into it. She pays she's favoritism with, with the, the kids and the tenants. And she sleep with okay. them. You're not supposed to pay no rent. You see what I'm saying? Everybody is, it's HUD. It's HUD. Okay, let me be out of the way real. It's HUD housing. You're not supposed to pay no rent unless you got a job. 90% of them oh, females that come in with shit. a baby don't got no job. You see what I'm saying? So you charge well, you do, Hold rent. on. Y'all do realize you get to plan with HUD. You plan with the government now, right? You know, I'm about to drop this paperwork. That, right? I'm about to drop this paperwork. Y'all follow me. Y'all think I'm lying. I'll drop my lease over there. I'm really not. I will drop my lease on there. Well, Chandra Elias Lockhart, 6108 Guardian Court Apartment 8. I got to say allegedly so it don't shut the live down because messing with Miss LaShondra, she's on it. 
you messing with the feds they own it they you, what you sending money Ooh. for they will input <laughs> Don't let mm -hmm. them get involved. They get a hook. Section eight, a uh, HUD housing, yeah, uh, food stamp. You get to play with any yep. of that assistance they give you. They on your ass. No, she. They should have been on her ass. Cause people, we've been listen. Miss Lashonda, though, she's so sweet talking, and she a she a girl that looked like a guy. So a lot of a lot of these women be you know feeling some type of way when she talk to y'all slow and weird shit like that. So a lot of these people be making reports on her. And they be, bro, when I lived in Garden Court, I lived there for three and a half years. You don't think I never made a report to the city? None of that? I had cops in her office Let me ask daily. You this then. When you go to the city and say, hey, this woman is accepting rent for housing that's supposed to be free. At that mm -hmm. point in time, what, did the, what was the city's response? They said, uh, would you like to be anonymous or would you like to state your name? Of course, I left it anonymous because I'm already on house arrest. I already done received threats and y'all walking into my house with a key. So I, I remained anonymous. Right. I ain't gonna lie about it. Now, didn't I tell you this story gets crazy? So the woman in the live, she is Vera Monet. She is speaking out against LaChandra and she's also making claims that Ray Chandra knew about some of the issues that the tenants were having, but because she had a happy home and she had a happy marriage she ignored the things that some of the tenants were saying about LaShondra and she just continued to live her life as if she never heard those things or she never heard anything at all so that's probably why Chandra dropped off the live randomly and didn't really say anything but Vera Monet she is speaking out she also has recordings she's releasing recordings of some of the issues that she was experiencing while staying at that property so I don't really know what to think but I do question how did Ray Chandra not know about any of these things that were going on I mean it just seems like a lot of things were going on around her and she was just oblivious to it all I was hoping in part two that we would hear from LaShondra and get her side of things regarding all of the things that are being said about her on social media but unfortunately she's just uploading these very weird videos James 1 verses 2 through 4 say this Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. It comes a time in our life as Christians, as people of God, that we will face adversity. And I've come to this place in my life where I understand that even in adversity, I need to be grateful. Because that is an opportunity for us to grow. That is an opportunity for us to, to gain perseverance and develop a closer relationship with God. There are parts of us that God is definitely developing. And, and, and much of that development comes from pushing through hard times. It's during this time that you just want to thank God for strength. Strength that develops. Strength that helps us to keep hope in God. So I don't know what you're going through, but even in this time, God is there. Be grateful for the adversity that you may be facing. Be grateful for the challenges. There's something that the old people used to say that, you know, trials and tribulations come to make us strong. Trials and tribulations come to help us understand and know who God is. Because there comes a point in our life where we will face some things that only God can fix. And sometimes those things are strategic. Sometimes we face things in our lives so, jo so God can do just that, prove who he is to us. That's a blessing. Today I received that. I want to share a prayer with you that I wrote down in May of this year. And it's talking about being grateful for adversity. It says, thank you, Lord, for perseverance that develops through our suffering Thank you that you haven't left our side when times have been unbearable, Lord. You are a comforter, our strength in the moments of trials and tribulation. Your word says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Help us to feel your presence during the storms and know that you are near. I pray that you feel God's presence in your storms. I pray that you feel God's hand on you during this time and in this hour. I pray that whatever directions God has given you, that you be obedient to that. And more importantly, I pray that you be grateful for your adversity. Because guess what? On the other side of adversity, 
You know, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning light. LaShondra, we just want to know what you did with the money, sis. That's all we want to know. We just want to know where the money go. Where did the money go? That's all we want to know. But she is online giving devotion, scripture, and she's giving sermons. So if you want to know what she's up to, that is what she's up to on her TikTok. That's pretty much the update. Maybe one day we will get her side of things, but this is what she is choosing to do with her time. She's choosing not to speak out against the claims that are being made against her. If at one point she does, I will do a third update on this situation. Ray Chandra, you need new people because in my opinion, I wouldn't trust no one in this situation. Why? Because I'm pretty sure her so-called friends had side pocket conversations about her wife and about how she owed them money and said nothing to you, but was having all of these conversations behind your back, sis. Ain't no way all of this stuff is going on around you and you have these so-called friends that know about it and they say nothing to you. Get you some new friends. That's pretty much all that I have regarding this situation. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified for when I upload. And if you would like to add to my commentary, comment down below and I hope to see you in my next one. This is gonna be my last video on any of this. We gotta get back to our regular scheduled content because I still have a lot of living to do. This will not consume me, okay? But I want to say several things. Number one, for those that are like, this is messy. Why would she bring it to the internet? Whoop, 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 blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. I am very aware that this can be convoluted. Things can be stretched and changed no matter what I say, okay? But it's the fact that I had to release it. Okay, I had to get it off of me. And whether you all believe me or not, it's not it's it's irrelevant. Okay, this is happening to me. I'm living this. So it doesn't matter how you feel about it, okay? Also, I would like to say this. It had to happen now. It had to be exposed now, okay? Because where I'm going, she just couldn't go. And that's okay. Everything else that comes after this, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with burning a bridge while I'm standing on it to let somebody know that I'm not to be fucked with. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's okay. So whether you all believe me or not, whether you feel like I should have known something or not is irrelevant. Guess what? Every morning I got to wake up. Number one, realize I'm going through this. Well, let me start over. Number one, realize that my mom is dying. Okay, my mom has moderate to severe Alzheimer. Okay? I have to feel I have to deal with that every day. And now this, okay? So I, I don't really have a lot of room and space for any of your thoughts and feelings about how you feel about me. I'm not gonna beat myself up about what y'all feel like I should have known or saw. All I know is the apology came two days after. I was notified that we were being evicted. Two days it took you to say, I get it. I'm sorry. So you're not understanding how you triggered me because I had already been through homelessness over 10 years ago and I would never go back. You triggered me for him jumping in my face like you want to jump bad on me. You triggered me. Now you get it. So you can't tell me that I wasn't married to a narcissist. I was. So I don't care how y'all feel about it. This is my last post about it. We're getting back to our regular scheduled content.